gonna be on the ox. First of all, who the f- plays mu- Who plays music at a funeral? That's the first part. Like, unless if you like in Louisiana, I guess. It, I if 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 you in Louisiana or something, then I guess. But who who's playing music at a funeral? <laughs> BBC gang in it, bitch. Oh, God. I don't do that WC. No, nobody want that white. <laughs> pink. <laughs> no, nobody want that. We BBC what gang. That no. Sexy Red at my funeral. I will come back to life in order to turn shit off. Your family does? So your family's playing Sexy Red at the funeral? Is that what you're saying? You know what I mean? I'm not talking about like I'm not talking about like the regular music. I'm not talking like music like, you know, like you would normally play at a funeral. I'm talking about like you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know, ratchet stuff. Like who's doing that, bro? Like people that do that, y'all got like th- that one relative that be like grinding on the f- uh coffin or something. Bruh. I swear I feel like I've seen that before in real life, but I don't think I have. I think that was just a Medea movie, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Why, 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 like, be humping the damn, why y'all be humping the freaking, what you call it, the goddamn, uh, coffins and shit, bro, like, <laughs> like, what are we doing? Funeral food be so good, you forgot who died. I ain't gonna lie, Ayo, <laughs> he not wrong, though. The food do be busted, though, I ain't gonna lie to you. They really put that, put their soul into that. Wait, hold on. There's no way you're playing Usher, Let It Burn at a funeral. Y'all got it, bro. Freaky songs at a funeral consistently. That's crazy, bro. Why? What it what who does that? Who's trying to who's trying to get freaky when somebody died? Unless if you that one guy from that one movie that was out here having sex with a with the grave and shit. Come on, bro. What we doing, bro? Yeah, funeral food do, do be hidden though. I don't know why. I don't know why. Anytime somebody died, like the food be tasting ec- this is crazy to say. But I'm not even lying though. The food do be tasting hella great though. Like, for some reason, it tastes better when somebody's dead, bro. Like, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is, but like, you know, like maybe, maybe, maybe the guy like he pisses like this is his like last hurrah. So he's like, you know what? I know I died, but get some seasoning, bro. <laughs> put some put some seasoning on there, bro. I'm gonna put some put some ghost seasoning on that bitch, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? The kids be uh was finna uh be traumatized. Oh, nah. Your, to your cousin though, his funeral probably uh, had the best food. Not gonna lie. Nah, this is crazy. The person's soul is in the food and enhances the food. You know what? I agree with that, bruh. I agree with that, bruh. I ain't gonna lie to you. I agree with that. Especially like, you know what I mean? Like when it's like older relatives. For some reason, like when it's like somebody younger or something, like maybe the food, the food still be busting, but it don't be busting that much. But well, like you know, when it's an old person, I don't know, like a grandma or something. For some reason, they just want to show out, bro. I don't know why. I don't know why. Anytime somebody grandma, grandpa, or somebody old die, I don't know if it's y'all, but like in in the family type shit, but like they just be showing out, bro. Like you get the ample amount of food when somebody old be dying, bro. I guess. I guess. That's that's respectable. You gotta send her off like gracefully. You know what I mean? smoked balls stop it but they had seafood boils at your great grandma's funeral uh the after party went crazy no throwing an after party at a funeral is is wild (laughs) throwing an after party an after party for a funeral is wild i never could i never understood that concept and the reason why i say that because that i also been to an after party i don't know why because they were they legit hired an actual dj that's the crazy part they hired a, a they hired an a actual dj somebody just died and then you got you got you know what i'm saying like like what we doing bro like it was it was i don't know bro i don't i don't know bro this is i don't i don't know bro this it was crazy bro i ain't gonna lie to you i remember this one time we 
like I forgot it was it wasn't even somebody close to me but we went to a we went to this funeral at this church I used to go to so we had to go to a whole other church the whole ceremony I ain't gonna lie was kind of fire you know what I'm saying minus the you know death part because you know obviously but you know what I mean I don't even know who the nigga died bro I ain't gonna lie to you but we went to that shit and they had literally like literally as soon as like they did the whatever like the little like sending away and shit no cap the nigga i don't know if it was the pastor or what he literally came he literally like after he got done praying he was like so everybody uh i want y'all to know that there will be refreshments and drinks uh in the concession hall after the funeral and at 8 30 p.m we will be throwing an after party literally right afterwards so make sure do you take your kids home so we can get drunk enough? I swear to God, he said this, by the way. He said this. He said, he said y'all can get as drunk as much as y'all want, but make sure you take your kids home at 8.30. Like, what are we, what are we doing, bro? <laughs> like, what? Like, like, what are we doing? Like, what kind of freak off were they having at, at a funeral party? Like, what is this, bro? Like, nah, bro. If y'all out here having a funeral party, getting nasty, <laughs> that's nasty work. That man is not a pastor. That was a certified pastor. I promise to you. I swear to God, I'm not lying, bro. That man literally said, that man literally said, we're throwing an after party at 8.30. Make sure you take your kids home before then and we can get crazy. But I was like, bro, bro, I was like, what the hell? My mom couldn't take me home though because we were too far away. We was too far away from my house, but like, I remember I saw some very I saw a lot of tomfoolery. I'm not gonna lie to you. Not no Diddy. No, 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 not no Diddy. Cause that'll be crazy. All I'm saying is that it was definitely, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know when a bunch of adults they have a little bit too much to drink. Things get kind of hectic. Not gonna lie. Things get kinda hectic. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Things get kinda he hectic, bro. Freaky send-offs. Hey man. Somebody, you know what I mean? Like, you know, maybe they were a freaky person. The real freak off. Y'all got it. Just busted in my oatmeal. <sighs> you ever been to a motherfucker uh to a motherfucking uh you didn't know's funeral? And there'll be there are always uh there always be these uh people that ain't seen like fr uh, family crying extra hard harder <laughs> than the person actually uh in the actual family. Yes, actually I have. I have I have. I think we all experienced that though. I ain't gonna lie. I think we I think we all experienced that one person they usually like play the auntie role and they be like crying hella hard. Never met never came in contact with that person once in their life, bro. Like like what are you crying for? You'll be having like the mom or like you know whatever, like the closest family, they'd be like <laughs> like they be they be sit they be uh sobbing and shit, and then you have this it always it always be it always be that one lady with the extra wide hips. She'd be like, Oh Lord, why did they take him away? Oh, the mark is why like ma'am, like you don't even <laughs> like what? You fed him grand crackers one time in a daycare. Like what are you what are you what are you what are you crying for, bro? Like Oh my god, the mark is out Like bro, what's wrong with that lady, bro? It always be that one, that one lady, that one lady. It don't need to be nobody else. It be that one auntie ass lady with the thickest thighs of imaginable, bro. Like that shit be like, bro, what are you doing, bro? Family be looking at you crazy. Just like, really, dog? You don't even know him, bro. Like you never knew him, bro. Find out shit you even uh, know about uh, distant relatives. Oh, I hate that too, bro. Cause it always be that one nigga like, Hey man, it's your great, it's your, it's your, uh, it's your, it's your, it's your uncle uh, Percy. Like, who? Hey man, and I, I held you when you was born. Like, <laughs> I held you when you was born. Like, nigga, I, when were you ever since? <laughs> nah, man, I was, you know, I've been traveling the world, you know, seeing things and stuff. But man, man, it's glad to see you. Like, you know, me, nigga, be grabbing your shoulder like this, be like, hey man, you know. <laughs> like, bro, who are you, nigga? Like, you always be somebody that be like, yeah, I'm your relative, and then just be like. Bro, I've never seen you a day in my life. And then your parents be like, your, your parent be like, bro, have some respect. Like, nigga, I don't know who you are. Like, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> like, literally, who are you? Like, nigga, who are you, bro? Like, it always be that, bro. It be some random nigga that you're supposed to know.
Like what? How am I supposed to know who? Who? I didn't know. Who, I didn't know. I have a, a aunt, an aunt Vivian. Like who are you, bitch? Like who are you? Like you never sent me no money, never sent me no clothes. You never came to the crib. I've never seen you until today, bro. Like, and you expect me to remember who you were? Cause you, cause I was a baby. Who remembers anybody when they were a baby, bro? Come on, bro. Like nah, bro. Y'all be getting it, bro. Y'all, y'all got it, bro. I remember when I first like met some of my cousins for the first time ever and they'd be like, hey man, I remember when we used to play basketball. Mind you, I was only five years old. Like nigga, what do you mean we used to play basketball? How? I'm only five. <laughs> nigga really hit me with the, hey man, you remember when we used to play basketball in the backyard? How am I supposed to dribble? I'm a toddler. Like, like what are you talking about, bro? On freaky old person. Not like, not in that way though. Like, not, not like meet them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, bro. Old people just be freaky, bro. Like, they was freaky back in the day, bro. They was getting freaky deaky back in the day, bro. They was, they was getting crazy, bro. Like, niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Like, this, the, the freakiness, the freakiness. They was having real free calls back in the day, bro. No, I don't know about y'all. Maybe this is me, but like, there was this one time I was in this retirement home. And this old woman literally, mind you, I was like 13 years old, by the way. This old woman literally, like, we was at a retirement home. And I was like, you know, you know how they have you do like chores and shit for the for the for the old people and shit. I remember one time I went to go get water for this old this this woman. I literally, no cap. I swear to God to you. No cap. I swear to God. I don't think she knew how old I was though. I don't know if she knew how old I was, but I literally went to go get her some water. I go back into her little house, little area. Tell me why this woman grabbed the water and she hit me with one of these. Now, baby, you know, you know, if you was just a little bit younger, <laughs> you would have been mine. You know that, right? I'm like, what does that even mean, bro? What does that even mean? <laughs> bro, and she literally hit me with the, now, baby, you know, you know, if you was just a little bit older, I would have, you know what I'm saying? Woman had the audacity to have her shirt. Not even going to lie. Audacity, have her shirt. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm supposed to know what that's supposed to mean. Like, ma'am, what are you doing? Wrinkly ass veins and shit. Fucking like, what are we doing, bro? He's a victim. I might be, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like it. I like it when old black grandmas do that, bro. She that she was like she was like some like. I think she was like. I think she was like Asian. I think she was, bro. That's a, that's a, that's a crazy thing. That she she was like some old Asian like elderly woman, bro. Like that was just like. Oh. Oh. And what made it worse? What made it worse? Her husband lived next door. Or unless, I guess, ex-husband. I don't know. I don't know what their relationship was. But her ex-husband lived next door. Literally. That's the crazy part. The reason why I knew that, because I also served him too. And the reason how I found that out is because that man literally, that man literally was like, yeah, man, that's my, that's my wife over there, like, type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, all right, man, I guess, bro. I guess, you know what I'm saying? If we trying to get on a freak off, I guess. I don't know, bro. I did get humble one time. That's a story. That's a story time for another day. But high key, all I got to say is like, okay, maybe humble's not the word, but I did. I will say I definitely did get a fear. Like I have a fear of old people after this one event that I that happened to me. I was just like, hey, man. Hey, man. I ain't going to lie. I ain't trying to see no more old people after this, bro. You know what I'm saying? If y'all ever seen like an old person fall, that's probably one of the most scariest things in reality in me. It, it be, I, you laugh at first, but then I'll just be like, damn, I actually feel kind of bad. Cause like, you know, you be thinking they, they can fall, they fall and they just can get back up easily. But it's like, no, when they fall, nigga, it's like, it's like a whole, it's like a whole scene, bitch. The old people with uh guns and confederate flags are the scariest motherfuckers ever i don't think you have ever hold on because y'all hold on i don't think no 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 because look at this bro no, no. this is how be old people be like look right here like what is she doing dog <laughs> ew like bruh <laughs>
<laughs> Y'all know, like, bro, why is she naked, dog? <laughs> like, why is she naked? This be the this be the old people with like dementia or some shit. And I'm not making fun of dementia. I'm just saying, like, this is this is just like, like, bro, like she out here crip walking butt naked, bro. Like, what are we doing? That one was bad. Y'all thought that one was bad? No, 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 no. You were problem. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Okay, my bad. I gotta explain this real quick. So y'all can see right there, this is grandpa's diaper. Because you know, some old people, for some reason, they be tooting on themselves sometimes. This is grandpa's diaper right here. Now, this was back in the, this was like one of those movies, like when they used to do the like POV movie shots, like the movies where they like, like paranormal activity type shit. It was around this, that time. This mother effer. Which is kind of clean. Grabs the camera that he had recording. But he got dementia, so he don't really know what's going on. Grabbed one of his diapers. And y'all about to see. Little germs, don't you? <laughs> ah, no! 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 Oh, no! Chocolate fudge on the face. Bruh. Forbid Nutella. Bruh. It, bruh. <laughs> Mind y'all, the grandpa has dementia. Now, I'm not going to lie. Real quick. Y'all know y'all grandparents, like, have, like, you know, dementia, whatever. They do this to y'all. What are y'all doing? We throwing hands? Do you even give me... What are y'all, what are you doing if your grandpa, mind you, your grandpa has dementia. He does not, he does not know where y'all, he doesn't know where he's at. He thinks he's somewhere else. Think about it. We boxing. Respect the smear. On my soul, we're boxing. That would be the day, bro. Nah, <laughs> he has dementia though. He has dementia. He doesn't know where he's at. He don't even know that's you. That's like he thinks that's somebody else. I think he thinks that he was a trash can because he was standing still. He was standing still. Everybody in the vicinity is dying. <laughs> I'm cracking on. I'm cracking on one. One. You're crack. Wait, what? You're you're cocking oh you're cocking oh wait okay whatever you know what I'm saying I I understand what you're getting bro nah bro what nah we're gonna even get, it gets even worse don't you like unironically I'm not gonna lie right that movie that movie unironically is actually like a very good movie I like the movie like unironically like those type of movies is actually fire it's just like like why if it was me and uh and he put that trash napkin uh on my uh, mouth i'm throwing up uh cc i want you to know that that was poop by the way that was his diaper that wasn't a trash napkin that was a diaper that was a he the grandpa has like a bunch of diapers and he and this and they didn't show it but the scene before like he grabs the diapers like one of the diapers out of the trash can and he thought he was going to go to like I don't know. I forgot. I forgot what the premise was, but I think he was. I think he was supposed to be going to like some type of like in his head. He was going to like some uh, event, and I guess he thought that the diaper was like his keys or something. And then like he grabs the and then he and and then he grabs the, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm eating. My bad, bro. <laughs> I'm explaining the scene. I'm not gonna show the scene though. I'm explaining the scene because it got it makes more sense of context. And I think he also like hides the poop or something. Like he hide, like he's ashamed of like it's one of the, he's ashamed that he has to wear a diaper because he's an old man, right? So that's why he has to like That's why he has to like, you know, 
he hides his diapers because he's afraid he's ashamed because he's an old man and he poops on himself so at that point he crashed out like basically he crashed out yeah 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 this is my final day <laughs> Nah, y'all gotta. I ain't gonna lie. This movie, unironically, is like a very good movie, bro. Also, why I don't like old people, bro. Not gonna lie to you. Also, why that's that you can now you can see why I don't necessarily like I like any old person in a movie, like in any like scary movie. I'm just not a fan of because I just think of that scene and this is like yeah, that's enough for me to be like yeah, I'm good, bro. It's either that or this other movie called It Follows, where they had this old ass man. This girl, this girl, this girl, like, I think she's like driving away from somewhere. And they had this old ass, this old ass dude, butt naked with a Confederate flag, just like watching her drive, like drive by. That scene always gets me every time, bro. I'm like, nah, you got it, bro. You got it, bro. You got it, bro. <laughs> I'm starting not to like them too, bruh. You said I uh you get a poop fetish like I <laughs> got a poop fetish like ice spice. Bro, I was just showing them the scene. You about to eat a chocolate pudding that that's clip, I guess. Okay, you got it, bro. I mean, if that's what you want to do, bro, I mean, hey man, you know, I'm just telling y'all, I'm just telling y'all that y'all just, you know what I mean? I ain't I ain't messing with old people. That's all I'm saying, bro. You throwing up. Hey man, I'm sorry. I told I told y'all, bro. I warned y'all in advance, bro how we get here because we was talking about old people <laughs> you're never talking about old people again however this did doesn't ruin my meals i've seen worse nah bruh i'm not gonna lie i'm not going to lie the movies around that time period were actually really fire like real talk it's is in a phenomenal movie series i don't care what anybody says bro it is an amazing movie series that shit is fire bro we was talking about funerals and then we got to old people and then we got to that you know what i'm saying i don't do that wc